Hi, this is Josh, 6O Doctor. Um, today I want to go over a little bit of uh, stoning. Uh, a lot of people, I guess, haven't heard about using stoning blocks on metal uh, since I was an uh, employee at Boeing here in Everett um, with a lot of s machining stuff and when you're trying to um, get metal nice and smooth without taking uh, any material off of the, the metal at all. Um, stoning is really effective. Um, so, for instance, right here is an old uh, exhaust manifold um, that I'm going to put back on a six layer. So to clean these up, instead of using a scotch Brite pad or a dock coat with a, a 3M pad on it or something like that, um, stoning works actually really well. Um, I even do it when I do the head gaskets. Um, you'll notice with, uh, with head gaskets, all you want to do is just take a little bit off the... I just want to get the, the material removed. So when I stone it, you can actually see the factory uh, deck when they deck the head or the block. You can see the the cut, the how the, the cutter was cutting the block <clears throat> to make it flat. So um, there's no swirls or anything from using a, a 3M uh, disc or anything. And it's less messier. Um, it's, it's easier to control. Um, and with a big stoning block it makes it really nice to clean stuff up so when i stone a head or or, a, or any uh, engine block um, or anything that's metal and i don't really want to ruin the, the metal and put scars into it because of, of leaking or anything like that um, what i do is i just take some wd-40 or any type of lubricant really and i just let it soak uh, a little bit and like this one hasn't been done yet so i'll just so you can see the difference here it doesn't take a lot of force. Um, this is a, a double stoning block, so it's a it's basically a knife stoning uh, to sharpen knives. But there's two different uh, uh, coarse. There's fine coarse, which is on this side, and then, then there's a coarse on this side. It's a little bit more coarse here. So what you do is just take it and you just go right over. It doesn't take really any pressure at all. Um, you just let the let the block do all this, the the work here. And it, just let it cut through, and it will literally cut through the all the stuff that's on there, and make it look like new again, really, without putting swirls or anything into the metal. So this is actually really nice and smooth now um, this has still got a lot of stuff on here so you can see the difference between the two and let's see if we can you can hear the difference too I'm using less than five pounds of force, really. So, this is just basically how you stone stuff uh, to make it nice and smooth and clean again. And let's see, with this one, you can see the actual machining marks coming through cleans it up back down to the the machining marks for the the flange here so it's nice and smooth again there's no swirls or anything from using a a dock hoe with a scotch brite on or anything if this is really kind of gritty so i just let the wd-40 just soak in a little bit and just add some pressure and you can actually do two at a time with a nice tight stoning block like this one, I'll just do both of them at a time. Uh, that way you know it's flat. And it's not taking, it'll take maybe a foul off the metal, if any. But. This is the same thing I do on the heads, on the on the block, when I put the gaskets on. 
so but it's all you really need this one could probably go a little more it's got some some grit here um, but it's really all you you need to get these uh, the metal cleaned up so um, but this is a uh, since this is machine flat um, I know this is you know really smooth and it's machine flat so um, I just want a good seal when I do stuff and since I'm using a gasket as well um, it's gonna seal up pretty well so anyways this is uh this is how you stone stuff on a six liter so if you have any questions um, please comment in the comment box and if you like it like it and also subscribe thank you